Hey, good morning everybody. Today I have a Dell laptop in here. It's the Inspiron 1750 laptop. Here it is here. Um, the customer brought it in. It has a virus on it, which I am just currently finishing up removing. And the other complaint is, um, watch when I move the uh, screen here. Gets the funny banding on it. It looks like um, possibly the connection to the the converter or the LCD itself, or it could be the inverter. Um, it appears to be a connection in the actual lid or the hinge point rather than the base of the computer just because I can't get it to uh, flake out when I'm messing with the base here it's all on this lid so I'm thinking that the uh, maybe the wiring that's going through the hinge point or yeah see there look at that that might be the problem right there was not doing it so yeah I'm pushing on this left hand hinge here and uh, so I'm gonna disconnect this and uh, crack it open and see what we come up with see if we can fix it again this is the Dell Inspiron 1750 laptop Stand by. Here we go. Speaking of dust, what I like to do is take my screws that I took out to an area that it came out of with just a piece of masking tape. That way I remember where the screw goes. Good old heavy guitar pick.
Looks like I'm gonna have to take these out too. Now that I have some of the the wire right here exposed that goes to the LCD monitor, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and uh, mess with this wire and see if the connection is bad here. So I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to have to take this benzyl off right here. Um, the problem is not in here as far as I can tell. It, it, it's carried up into here. So I'm going to take that part off there. You have to be careful that you don't hit any of the wires behind here. You have uh, camera wires. You can have an antenna for your Wi-Fi as well as uh, some models even have a switch wire. So you have to be real mindful of that. So chances are this entire harness is damaged. I can see in the pivot point here underneath this hinge where it, uh, the small one underneath where it's pinched in there. And it's probably damaged one of the wires inside the harness. So I'm going to have to find out what harness and uh, get a price on it and uh, call the customer and find out what he wants to do. Finish testing this first. Yeah, the problem seems to be this cable right here, the big one. Um, it's been pinched by this hinge. There really is not enough room inside this channel to support these two thick wires and over time the cover being open and closed has worn away and caused a problem with this shorted out so um, 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and button this computer back up because I realize I don't have the part. Um, I do know that it's the large cable that goes from the motherboard to the uh, LCD display. So I'm going to go ahead and get a price on that and um, add my labor in there. I'm going to go ahead and button up the computer because it is still usable and um, when the customer comes I'll explain to him there will be you know what's wrong with it he can use it until it breaks again or I can go ahead and order the part and then at a more convenient time he can bring it back in and get this thing repaired so this is uh, the Dell um, Inspiron 1750 with uh, hinge problem squeezing on the wire this is not the only kind of computer that I've seen with this problem. Whenever a cable passes through the hinge point, it gets pinched, um, especially if there's not, not enough uh, room in here. In time, it wears it down and it causes uh, flickering problems. The cable itself could probably be had on the internet fairly cheap. Of course, your uh, your cost is going to be in the, the labor to tear this thing down. I'm going to have to lift this keyboard up um, to get to the harness on the motherboard as well as remove this display uh, to finish the job. So I'm only halfway there even though I've cracked it open this much. And uh, finish it up that way. So hey. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, this edition of the Guru Brew. I um, hope you learned something. And uh, take care of yourself. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, just as a side note to this video, I got it all buttoned back up and I'm preparing to give a, you know, give a call back to the customer and, and let them know about the cable inside and I'm basically, you know, it was here for two reasons. The first reason was a virus, which I uh, redid the operating system. I'm going to charge them for that. And then I had to take the time to open up the case and uh, figure out what was wrong with that wire. And the side note is, um, a lot of times I think what happens with repair people is instead of opening the case and actually finding out what was wrong with it in this case I had to take it halfway apart as you've seen just to um, you know find out that it was the wire even though my suspicions might have been it was the cable harness it might have not been accurate my point is is I think a lot of repair people are throwing a big number out there so you'll just buy another laptop or uh, steer you clear of, of getting it fixed just for this reason uh, they don't want to take the effort uh, to open it up and find out what was wrong they rather just throw you a big price and so I see disposable uh, electronics in the future I think that's where it's going I think that uh, fixing these things up is uh, headed for a thing of the past and that's just my two cents that's my opinion so uh, take it for what you will um, that's all I have to say. Okay, have yourself a good day. Take care. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video, and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.